Hi, welcome to Mr. Techpathy Tutorials. This is part 11 of Linux device drivers. In this session, we'll learn about basics of device drivers. In this session, we'll learn two topics. The first one is about slash dev directory and the second one is device driver types. Coming to our first topic about slash dev directory. The slash dev directory on a Linux machine is where all the device files for the system are located. Using this device file, a user program or an application can access a specific hardware device. This slash dev directory is a very interesting directory that highlights one important aspect of Linux file system that everything in Linux is a file. Take an example of printer driver in your Linux system. The device file of a printer is slash dvlp0. Any data returned to this file by your application will be redirected to your printer. Similarly, data read or returned to slash dvttys0 will allow you to communicate with a device like serial terminal or a modem device. Coming to our second topic, device driver types. In Linux, we have following device types. First one is character devices. The second one is block devices. The third one is network devices. As shown in this diagram, all three devices drivers fall under kernel space. If you are not familiar with kernel space and user space, I recommend you to watch my earlier tutorials on Linux device drivers. From the diagram, you can see that each device has its own device driver. These device drivers has an entry of its device file under slash dev special directory. An application which resides in user space communicates through device files under slash dv and accesses the specific device it needs. Please note that we are not going to discuss in detail about these devices. We are just going to brief on each and every device. Coming to our first device, which is character device. Character device can be compared to a normal files in which we can read or write arbitrary bytes at a time. Character devices work with a stream of bytes. The only relevant difference between a character device and a regular file is that you can always move back and forth in the regular file whereas most character devices are just data channels which you can only access sequentially. However, character devices are not limited to performing input-output one character at a time. For example, take a character device tape drivers. These tape drivers frequently perform input operations in 10k chunks. You can also use a character device when it is necessary to copy data directly to or from a user process. Example of character device drivers are serial port, text console, mice, parallel printer ports. Character devices are accessed by means of file system nodes such as slash devtty1 and slash dvlp0 for printer. Since slash dv contains all devices, how can we identify character devices under this directory? If you open a Linux terminal and try to list the files under slash dv, the character devices under slash dv are identified by a character c in the first column. In short, character devices can be thought of as the devices that transmit or transfer data. Coming to block devices, block devices on the other hand operate on blocks of data. They doesn't operate on arbitrary bytes like character devices. Usual block size is 512 bytes or larger power of 2. Linux allows the application to read and write a block device like a character device. It permits the transfer of any number of bytes at a time. As a result, the block and character devices differ only in the way data is managed internally by the kernel. Like a character device, each block device is accessed through a file system node and the difference between them is transparent to the user. Examples of block device drivers include hard drives, disks, or CD-ROM drivers. Since slash dv contains all devices, how can we identify these device drivers under this directory? When you list the files under slash dv directory, the block devices under slash dv are identified by a character b in the first column. In short, block devices are the devices that store or hold data. Coming to the network device, network devices are a bit different than character or block devices. Network device drivers receive and transmit data packets on the hardware interface that connect to the external system and provide a uniform interface that network protocols can access. In order to just give a basic idea on network devices, let's take the difference between a block device and a network device. A simple difference is the block device, like disk, exists as a special file in the slash dv directory, whereas the network interface has no such entry points. Since there is no entry point under slash dev, the normal file operations like read, write are not possible. So how does the communication happen in network device drivers? Network device driver does not use special file under slash dev. These network interfaces exist in their own namespace and export a different set of operations. 
Hope you understood these basic concepts of device drivers. In coming tutorials, we'll totally concentrate on character device driver. As we go ahead, we will eventually discuss about block and network device drivers. Note that the information we discuss on character device drivers is applicable to block device drivers as well. Thanks for watching Mr. Techpathy tutorials. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel for more videos. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you. Here I am. I am in my Linux virtual box. I have opened a terminal. I will change the directory to slash tv. I will try to list the files under slash tv. These are the special files which are listed under slash tv directory. Now, let's list the character device files. For example, I will go ahead and display slash dv console which is a character device. As you can see, the first column contains a character C which states that slash dv console is a character device. Now let's list the device files related to my hard disk and you can see a character B is in the first column stating that slash dv sda slash dv sda1 slash dv sda2 are the block devices.